Hello. Hi, good evening. Media teacher, how are you? Hi, fine, how are you? Hi. All right, very good. So let's see, I have Jose Rodriguez, Ana Dimas, Daniel, Elmer, Daniel Del Cid, Ana Edith, who else do I have in class? Uh, that's pretty much it. All right, very good. So how's everybody? How are you guys? Fine. I'm fine. All right. So our online classes, they are not suspended, okay? They are <laughs> going. <laughs> okay. All right. Only the um, face to face classes, okay? But this one it's okay because it's online. All right, guys. So uh, let's begin. We're going to talk today a little bit. Well, yesterday we were talking about personalities. We, uh, the previous class, we were talking about um, the relative pronouns, who and that, as subjects and as objects. And then yesterday, we were also talking about personalities. Now, uh, let me see. Elmer, can you remind us or can you tell us about one of the personalities that we were talking about yesterday? Yes, teacher. I, I talk about the uh, sociable, intolerant, modest, temperamental. Oh, autistic. my goodness. All right. You were only supposed to give me one, Elmer, but that's okay. Ah, only no. one. Sociable, <laughs> teacher. Sociable, like me. Sociable, like you. Very good. Yeah, Anna, yeah. Edith, can you give me another uh, personality? Do you remember any no. other of the personalities that we talked about yesterday? Only, only Elmer say. <laughs> yeah, sociable. Elmer said everything. All right, very good. Okay, sociable. <laughs> Jose Rodriguez, do you remember any other, um, any other of the, uh, any other personality that we talked about yesterday? Yes. Um... Modest. Modest, very good. Okay, any other? Guys, anybody that was in class yesterday that remembers? Stingy. Stingy like you. Stingy like me? <laughs> I'm not stingy. Yes, with the, with the um, presentation. I know, but I send it to you, come on. <laughs> oh okay. my goodness. <laughs> You're so terrible. All right. Any other of the um any other personality that we remember from yesterday? Anxious. Excuse me? Anxious. Anxious? Was that yesterday? Oh, well, yeah, it is personality. Okay, very good. Any other guys? Easy going. Easy going. Very good. Elmer, do yeah. you have do you have those uh, words with you right now? Because I can yeah. find mine. Can you share them <laughs> on the uh, can you don't laugh at me, Elmercito? Um, can you share yeah. them with us, please? I just wanna remember. That, that teacher. Hold on. What did you do, Elmer? Uh, <laughs> reliable. Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Elmer. Very good. So we had sociable, intolerant, we have modest, temperamental, like Elmer, <laughs> egotistical, <laughs> easygoing, stingy, and reliable and supportive. Okay. So let's see. Um, Jose Rodriguez, if you have to choose one of these personalities, which one is yours, Jose? Uh, honestly, honestly. Honestly. Uh -huh. I think I am unreliable. Unreliable? Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. That's okay. Thank you for being honest. Ana Dimas, <laughs> what do you think your personality is? Hi, are you, hi Anita. Are you sociable, uh, well, intolerant? What are you? No. In my case, I, I, I temperamental. You're temperamental. Oh, okay. Very good. Elmer, what are you? Honestly, you see, Anita was very honest and Jose was honest too. So, Elmer, what's your personality like? It's a going teacher. <laughs> Maybe, All right. yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know. All right. Anna, Edith, what's your personality? Um, I think I am sociable okay. and supportive. 
Okay, nice. Okay, Daniel, what about and you? And time temperamental. Also, all right, very good. <laughs> Daniel, what are you? What's your personality? Uh, my uh, personality is sociable okay. or funny. Oh, okay, very nice. Okay, thank you. Daniel Del Cid, what's your personality? Yeah, I'm modest. Modest? All right, yeah. very good. Jennifer Acosta, ¿cómo siguió? Jennifer, by the way, how are you feeling today? Um, feel uh, better. You feel better today? Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, very good. What's your personality, Jenny? Uh, my personality is uh, sometimes sociable, mm -hmm. modest. Okay. Uh, a little temperamental. Temperamental, okay. Temperamental. All right. And, okay, very good. Okay, very nice. All right. Uy, es como mucha huella por ahí. Teacher. Okay, como no hay clases aún mañana ya. Hay días, teacher. Ajá. Uh, I, I think it's an, uh, when I, I take a different personality for. Ajá, uh -huh. what's your personality? Yes, I, I may be uh, intolerant for one moment and sociable in the other moment, oh, modest and the other. Yes, it's, it's, it's like, uh, like, uh, like according to uh, <laughs> according the situation, maybe. Oh, in the, right. yes. Yeah, it makes sense, yes. I think we are a little bit of everything sometimes. Depends. It depends. Uh, yeah, I guess it depends on the situation. All right, very good. Okay, so that's what we were talking about yesterday. Now, is so, well, is intolerant a positive or a negative word, guys? What do you think it is? Positive or negative? Negative. 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 All right. What about modest? Uh, positive. 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 Temperamental. Mm, uh, negative. Negative. Practical? What do you think? Negative or positive? Uh -huh. Negative. Negative, all right. AC going? It's positive. positive. Positive, okay, yeah. Is stingy? Positive. Positive. Negative. Yes, have I, I have a lot of money. Uh -huh. that, the people is stingy. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. No, no, uh -huh. like me, no. Okay. Teacher, in the... <laughs> In the platform, uh, 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 have a have a personality neutral too. Uh -huh. Maybe. Yeah, it's true. Yes. Mm. All right. Pero no me lo mueva, niño. Go up. Aquí, aquí eh, quiero ver. Excuse no, me. Per per permítame, teacher. Habían unos que eran neutrales. No era yeah. positivo. Or negative. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Bueno, regresemos a la. Ya me mario el medio. Yes, yes, oh my goodness. Bye, ahí está. Okay. <laughs> ahí está. Thank you. Está. All right. So, okay. what about <laughs> What about ay, Elmer? What are you ah, doing? Todavía, bye. Oh, come on, Elmer. <laughs> so Excellent. Thank you, Elmer. Okay. So, stingy we said no uh, is it positive or negative? Stingy guys, positive or negative? Negative. Unreliable? Negative. Negative. Unsupportive? Positive. Positive. All right, positive. Very good. Okay, of course, there are many others. I mean, there are many, many other words that we can use to talk about your personality. But right now, these are the ones that we want you to learn, okay? Did you know all the words or not really? Did you know the words before? Yes, funny. Okay, but these ones, did you understand the meaning before? Yeah. Yeah, okay, very good. Okay, thank you, everyone. I'm going to stop your screen sharing because I need to share something with you, all right? All right. So just let me get it here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Give me a second, guys, because I can't. Elmer, can you stop sharing? Thank you. Thank you so much, Elmercito. How do you say nada de gracias? 
Nada, gracias. No me digas eso. Okay. <laughs> okay. Chiche, so, what's your name? My name is Jessica. Who's asking me this? Ah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Who asked well, me that my question? First class. To, Daniel, today's your first class or was it yesterday? Uh, yes, but uh, one moment. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yes. Minutes. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm sorry, Daniel. As I didn't introduce myself. My name is Jessica Cerritos, and I'm going to be your teacher for this module only. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Dokie, just give me a second here because I need to find this exercise for you. All right, here you go. We're going to do this one. Okay. So here, guys, we are going to do this right now. I'm going to share this with you. And what I want you to do here, I want you to do two things. I want you to combine the relative uh, pronoun who or that, okay? And also the personality, all right? It can be any personality, all right? So here, they are very similar to the exercise we did yesterday, but they're not the same, okay? So for example, number one, um, Daniel Del Cid, can you read it? Danielito Del Cid, can you read it? Yes, yes. Okay, uh, first, I generally like to go out with people who are easy going and have a sense of humor. Okay, very good. So, I gen thank you. I generally like to go out with people who, that's the relative pronoun, who are easygoing and have a sense of humor. So, easygoing in this case, it is a personality, okay? So, what I want you to do, can you please take a picture or a screenshot of this exercise? Guys, please. Finish the picture. No, yes. one moment. Yes. Okay, okay. So when you finish taking the picture, the idea is um, you're going to go to your groups and I want you to finish the sentence using a relative pronoun, who or that, and then the uh, any personality, maybe from the ones that we have studied or some other ones that you can think of. Wow. Do you understand what you're supposed to do? Voy a poner silencio a todos los Thank you. Si tiene una pregunta, let me know. Okay, very good. Uh, do you understand? If you if you have your um, camera open, just move your head. Do you understand what you're going to do? Yes, Ana Dimas, do you understand what you're going to do? Say yes if you understand. Yes. Thank you, Ana. Very good. Who else can I see here? I don't see anybody anymore. What about the, let's see. Uh, Walter, can you, can you, do you understand what we're going to do, Walter? If you, if you understand, move your head. No? Okay, you just came in. Hold on, give me a second. Jose Rodriguez, do you understand? Jose Rodriguez, move your head if you understand. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Yes. Very good. Okay, thank you. Okay, Walter and Lisette, I think just got in. So what we're going to do right now, I want you to take a picture of, oops, who moved my, I moved it. You're supposed to take a picture of this, okay, Walter? Take a picture of that, and then with your groups, you're going to go and work with these exercises. What you're supposed to do, you're supposed to finish the sentences that are there using a relative pronoun, who or that, plus one of the personality uh, types that we were talking about. Maybe easygoing, maybe um, modest, maybe stingy, maybe, I don't know, unreliable, maybe what, like any of the personality words that we were talking about. But joining them with, joining those two sentences with a relative pronoun, who or that, okay? My dear teacher. Yes, my dear student. Uh, in, in all case, I, I put the, uh, the who or that, and then uh, put R. That's For right. example, yes, are, who are in all case. Yes, because you're talking Maybe, yes. in, the, in this case, Elmer, you're using adjectives. And when, uh -huh. we, when you talk about adjectives, you have to use B. 
Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go back. We're going to go right now to groups and then you can work on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, let's see. We're going to have, whoa, four groups here. All right. So please click on the invitation right now.
sentence yes. Yes. Okay. Did you guys finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Very good. Can you can you um share with me two yes, two I sentences? Two sentences. Yes. Uh -huh. You choose which number. It doesn't matter. Um. The number yeah, two. Okay. Yes. Can I read. Uh -huh. I rather travel with someone who are sociable and easy going because I like to enjoy that trip. Okay. All right. Okay. Number three. Uh-huh. My dear teacher. Yes, go ahead. I don't really want a roommate who are foot, feel foot, feel bad food. How do you say layer and of peace? <laughs> <risa> ah, pero en ese sería who has stinky feet. Ah, who has... <risa> bueno, eso. Él me resuelve que um, for number okay, ¿Qué? for number two, number three, number six. Yes. Hold on, number six and yeah, only. Two, three, and six, I think. You have to use yes. is because someone is singular. I rather ah, travel okay. with who is. If you would have, I rather travel uh -huh. with people, then yeah, who are. All right. So you have to play with the verb to be. All okay. right. But you have to use the verb be because you're using um, adjectives in this case. Okay. But you have to watch if it's yeah. singular or, it's... or if it's plural. That's right. Yes. Okay. Right, yeah. but the, but How do you the, say uh, le llegan los pies, teacher? Yes, I don't yes. really want a Roma. Ah, uh, who, 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 has, who is, who has a stinky feet. feet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Yes. It's a good, a good sentence, yes. It is a very good sentence. All right. Yes. <laughs> okay. Just give me a second. I'm going to go to another group to, to check on them. Okay. 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 Thank you. People don't like a stinky type. Hi guys, which number are you working on right now? We're working in number seven. Some people don't like stingy types. Uh huh. Yes. Stingy. Uh... Daniela and Daniela are here today. <laughs> Uh, some people don't like stingy types uh, who who are mm -hmm. egost, egotistical All right. people. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, that's okay. Makes sense. All right. Okay, so finish up and then I'm going to go check on another group, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> hi Jenny, hi David, hi Anna. Hello. What hi. are you working on? Hi. Right? Hi. Hi David. <laughs> David just hi, got in, right? Hi, hi David. How are you? <laughs> so people don't Sorry, like... David late. Hey, hi, okay. that's okay. <laughs> Okay, so Anna and Jennifer, would give me one one sentence that you already complete. Okay, I rather travel with someone who are funny and good teacher. How do you say conver buen conversador? And talkative. 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 Yeah, you can say that. Now, um. For number two, number three, and number six, okay? You need to watch the verb be. You have to use the verb be because you're using adjectives. But for example, number two, I rather travel with someone. Someone is only one person. All right. Someone. So, yeah. Uh -huh. so I rather travel with someone who is uh, funny and talkative. Mm -hmm. Please. Okay, teacher. Not who are. No, a number one, yes, because you're talking about people. 
which is plural. A number ah, four, yes, okay. because you're talking talk yeah. about teachers. One person. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, but, yeah, but you have to, I mean, you have to use either is or are, okay? It depends if it's singular or if it's plural. Okay. All right, very good. Okay, so David, what um, everybody's doing right now, they're making, uh, they're finishing these sentences using relative pronoun who or that plus a, any type of personality, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what we were working on, okay? I'm gonna yes. go check in one more uh, room and go back, okay? Okay. No. No idea. Hello. Hi, Walter. Hi, Anna. How are you doing? Hello. Hi. Fine. In the number eight. Excellent. Okay. I don't want to have mo um, moody friends. Uh huh. Moody. Uh, uh, moody. I suppose is the similar temperamental yeah it's very person. similar yeah like okay. sometimes you're happy sometimes you're angry some like bipolar like sometimes you're sad all right so moody that changes on the mood okay 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 all right can can i listen to uh number five most workers would prefer a boss How did you a finish boss who are who are organized? Who are and o okay. Who is organized? Uh, and yes, mm -hmm. and leadership. Okay, very good. Now, uh, Walter and Anna, for number two, number three, and number six, you have to watch your verb to be. All right, because yes, yes. you have to use are if it's plural, but you have to use is if it's singular. So, for yes. example, I'd rather travel with someone who is easygoing, for example. Or most workers would prefer most. a boss who is um, who. who is intelligent, for example. Ah, okay. Okay, because it's, it's only one singular. boss. Yes, if it's, it's if he would say okay. most workers would prefer uh, would prefer bosses who are okay. all right. Then mm. you use the R, okay, but yes. in the if it's only one if it, because it is singular then you have to mm -hmm. use this okay mm -hmm. okay thank you you're welcome thank you okay so um i'm gonna go to one more group and then we're gonna go back together okay okay, okay. thank you uh-huh Y yo sin mascarillas, ¿cómo le voy a hacer? <laughs> <laughs> my dear teacher hello my dear student uh, Lisette is a doctor. I know she is. Uh, I, I don't know. You didn't know? Yes, I didn't know. Ah, I knew. <laughs> uh, yes, I am new teacher. My first level with you. Oh, whatever. You. Yes, teacher. <laughs> you do, uh, that is the reason why you don't uh, love me. Oh, I love you very much. <laughs> no, se siente, se siente, se siente, se desgano. Ah, uh -huh. whatever. Lisa, what about, <laughs> how, how is this coronavirus going in El Salvador? Really, do you know? ¿Puedo decirlo en español? Yes. Realmente casos de coronavirus no hay acá. Pero nosotros, bueno, yo fui a un foro al colegio médico, Ajá. donde una de las ventajas que tenemos es nuestro clima calientito. Uh -huh. Vámonos Entonces, para la unión. <risa> ah, sí. Uh -huh. Entonces posiblemente el, bueno, el virus, en la, no somos de la misma raza, no tenemos el mismo clima. No tenemos la misma alimentación, entonces posiblemente se comporte de una forma diferente. Ok. No comemos culebra, vea, Alice. No. <risa> Solo garro. Bueno, caballo. Ok. Y, ade y además de eso, es como la H1N1, la H1N5, todo ese tipo de gripe que a quienes atacan más que todo son a las personas con las defensas bajas, entonces como las personas con diabetes, VIH, con cáncer, entonces esas personas sí están más 
propensa okay. a tener una mortalidad con lo del coronavirus. Uh -huh. Pero si tienes la defensa bien, los cuidados de medida higiénica, pues espero que primero Dios no pase a más. Sí. Pero lo más seguro que... Eh, decían tiene... que los niños tienen... Perdón. Uh -huh. Perdón. Decían que los niños eh, tienen un menos son menos propensos, ¿no, Lisset? Sí, porque como están formando anticuerpos y tienen la vacuna reciente, uh -huh. entonces uh -huh. le ayuda más, más que todo es para las personas adultas. Entonces, como viejito, recomendaría ponernos las vacunas. Es que las vacunas ya las deberíamos de tener todos. Ah, ok. Entonces, no, pero, pero sí. lo que no las tenemos. Sí. <risa> El mercado <merecido. risa> tanto años sin Por ejemplo, vacuna. yo le oigo a las, a las vacunas. Sí, yo le voy a la vacuna. Yo no me vacuno así por así. Yo guardé el mes. Sí, pues sí, teacher. Imagínese mi pielecita ahí, bien. <risa> no, no, pero sí son importantes las vacunas. Lo que pasa es que el ministerio no tiene para ponerle las vacunas a todos. Entonces, la de la influencia busca las la personas con mayor riesgo, niños menores de 5 años y los de tercera edad. Okay. Pero si todos pudiéramos tener acceso a la vacuna, fuera excelente. Okay. Pero las medidas sí. que han tomado está bien porque sí hay un brote de gripe. Prácticamente de 10 Mi, pacientes que ven la consulta, 8 son gripe. Mire, la cerveza no es buena, Alice. Disculpe. Ah, no, sí. esa no. <risa> Agua, tome, té de limón, limonada, no que cerveza, niño. No, si le voy a poner limón, una corona y, Ay, <risa> y sal. <risa> Con limón y sal y tequila. Sí. Haga caso a él, Merliset, por Dios. Por eso la mando aquí. Sí, lo mando conmigo. ¿Por eso qué? ¿No escuché? La mandó conmigo la teacher a la reunión. <risa> por eso, güey. Bueno. Sí. Para que no Ay, se esté dando consejos a los no, demás. Ya me voy mejor. Ok, thank you, Lizette, for the information. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lizette. Thank you. Very well. I am worried. <risa> Bye. Don't worry, teacher. Ok, ok. I'll try not to. <risa> you work at home. Yeah, well, not always. Really? You have you had to go to the... Like I go to teach at university and to the academy, but right now the classes are canceled. You are on vacation. Yes. <laughs> for you, I am yeah. not going to have vacation. I know. It's going to be very difficult for you. Yes. And for Noemi. Teacher. Yes. You, you are work only in the house, yes. No, I work at university and I work at English Corporativo, but no, on the but, academy. But in this case, for the, for, for the, uh, in this, in this time. Uh, right now, only from, with this group? Only with this group. Uh-huh. Entonces, aprovechenos, teacher. Consientanos. Oh, yeah. Ya va a ser yes. un centro de ayuda. Solo somos... <laughs> In which sí, university pues. do you work? At the UCA. Okay. Yeah. So today classes are not. I mean, we cancel. They they cancel the classes in the evening. Good for you. Yeah. But, no. <laughs> but after after you have to work. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy after. But okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go back then. Okay. My teacher. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. All right, so let's see what we have. So for number two, um, Anna Edith, can you read your sentence for number two? Okay. I'd rather travel with someone who is sociable. Excellent, nice, who is sociable, very nice. Walter Guerrero, can you read number three? Hello. Hi, Walter, can you read number three, please? I don't really want a roommate. Uh, who is uh, unorganized? Who is unorganized? 
an organism. Okay, very good. Okay. Ana Dimas, number four. Okay, number four is something. Uh, Let me see. Mm. My classmate, I like teachers. And the answer is who are sociable and intelligent. intelligent. Excellent. Very good. All right. Uh, number six. Let's see. Daniel, can you do number six, please? Daniel or Daniel del Cid? Okay. Either one? Mm -hmm. uh, number number six. Yes, please. Mm, most work workers would prefer a boss who is supportive. Supportive. Who's supportive. Very good. Supportive. Nice, nice, nice sentence. All right, very good. Then I have David. Can you try to do number seven? Okay. Some people don't like stingy types who are ungenerous. Ungenerous, all right, very good, okay. It's stingy, David, okay, stingy. Very good, Jennifer Acosta? Okay, stingy. Yes, Jennifer Acosta, can you do number eight, Jenny? Number eight. I don't want to have mother friends who are temperamental. Temperamental, mm. very good, all right. Temperamental, second. Yes, very <laughs> good. Uh, let's see, Lisette, number nine. I feel comfortable discuss, discussing my problem with friends who are uh, supportive. 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 Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Very good. And Elmer, can you do the last one? My favorite friends are people who are very fun. Okay. Very nice. Very fun. All right. Very good, guys. We're going to move on with um, something else here. And this is from the um, a platform. And I, wanna, I wanted to share this with you because I want us to do it together from the platform. And then I can explain it to you a little bit better. Okay. So what I want us to do is I just want you to pay attention to the explanation all right and then we're going to talk about it and then we're going to do some exercises okay okay, okay. all right so um i'm gonna sh i'm gonna play the out the audio of the platform so you can listen and then just follow the explanation and then we can talk about it in here uh share computer sound in this class you'll learn how to can you hear Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. okay, so to begin with, we're going to talk about clauses with it and when, okay? And then the teacher here on the explanation says that we can use it or when, when we talk about things that we like or things that we dislike, okay? So I can say, for example, I don't like it, I don't like it when people uh, make fun of me okay I don't like it okay I don't like it when I'm using when and then I'll tell you the consequence or the the, the reason I don't like it when people make fun of me all right or I love it when students understand okay so I'm using when and then I give you the reason when they understand that's why I love it okay so right now we're going to learn we're going to do this topic today and tomorrow a little bit of, of this tomorrow too so we can express things that we like or things that we dislike by using it or by using when okay you'll also learn how to express neutral things so let me give you an example of what i'm talking about so let's say for example you want to express things that you like um, I'm going to use an analogy of a birthday, right? So a uh, quick example, I like it when my friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when my friends forget about my birthday. There I just express the likes and dislikes and I also want to be neutral about certain things. So in order to do that, I'm going to use expressions such as, I don't mind it when my friends arrive late to a party. So let's do the following. First, 
the first thing that we should learn or that we should become familiar with is some uh, vocabulary okay uh, and so let me do just that let me just present this quick vocabulary if you notice I've highlighted in yellow the positive so for things that you like you'll use expressions such as I like it I love it when you're neutral about something you'll use expressions such as I don't mind it and when you want to express things that you don't like then in that case you'll use expressions such as I don't like it, I can't stand it, I hate it. All right, so if you notice here, before we use the clause it or when, we need to know these expressions, okay, that the teacher was telling us about. When we like something, when these expressions are positive, if you like it very much, you say I love it, all right, I love it when you listen to me. All right, or I like it when it's raining. Okay, so I'm expressing things that I like. They are positive. Then I can, when it's neutral, I can say things like I don't mind it. All right, so it's okay. Um, maybe I don't really love it and I don't hate it. It's okay, so it's neutral. All right, I don't mind it when um, Elmer bullies me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I have um, other expressions as don't, I don't like it, I can stand it, I hate it, okay? So I hate it is like very strong in a yeah. negative way, okay? You say I hate it when um, they suspend classes, <laughs> all right? <laughs> so we have uh, those expressions that are very important. So you say, I like it, I love it, they're positive, I don't mind it, it's neutral, I don't like it and I can stand it, and I hate it, they're negative. And then we go on using it or we use when. So let's continue listening. So let me just quickly present the structure and how to formulate this kind of complex sentences. So when we say clauses with it and then we say clauses with when? Well, really what we're saying is that we want to express things that we like, that we don't like, or that we're neutral about at any given situation. So let me just present the structure here. What we want to do is we want to use clauses with it and then adverbial clauses with when. Uh, and we do this in order to express the things that we like, the things that we don't like, or the things that we might be neutral about. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, we ha I had a, a couple of examples for you. I'll just continue on with making more examples. So, so what kind of things do you like? Well, um, in order to formulate this sentence to express that idea, we're going to have a subject. In this case, I'm just going to say I. The subject could be any other subject, by the way. Um, I use a verb such as like, so I say I like it, and that's my clause with it. And then uh, the next part, it continues with when, this is the situation, um, when. All right, so let me just make that quick sentence there. So I like it when someone gives me a compliment. This is something that I like. As you can see, we have the first part of the sentence is the subject plus the verb and it. I like it. And then the second part of that sentence is, when someone gives me a compliment. If you notice here, this is how you have to do them. Okay, so you have the clause with it is subject plus verb plus it. Now, watch the pronunciation because you don't say, I like it. All right, it's I like it. So it sounds, you join the sound. All right, so you say, I like it when someone gives me a compliment. I love it when I get money. <laughs> All right, I hate it when um, you don't... Um, raining. Yeah, when it's raining, okay, thank you. Okay, so you can say, as the teacher said on the platform, you can say I or you or he or she or it, doesn't matter who you're talking about. In this case, it's I because I'm expressing a like or a dislike that it, that, I mean, it's a, it's something personal, okay? But for example, if um, I know, for example, Elmer is my, my best friend and I know him and I said, Elmer hates it when the teacher doesn't send the PPT, all right? 
All right, so I can use the subject, whoever subject I'm talking about. I can say I, you, he, she, it. Now, if I talk about third person singular, then I have to use uh, Elmer likes it because I'm talking about him or about, uh, I'm talking about Jennifer. So I say she likes it. <clears throat> okay, so if I'm talking about simple present, then I have to add S to my verb like, and then I join it with it. She likes it when someone gives her a compliment. He loves it when they get, um, uh, I don't know, they get to the park, present. all right? So, yes? Present. Yes, it's present, okay? Mm -hmm. So, because it's third person singular, you would have to add S to the verb, okay? So, here, guys, these sentences are divided into two uh, clauses, okay, or two sentences. A clause is a sentence, okay? And then you join them together, in this case, by using when, all right? So, you say, I like it, that's the first part of the sentence, which is short, and then the, um, the reason or the consequence or the situation when someone gives me a compliment, okay? So the when joins the two sentences, you understand? Yes. Yeah, Jose, do you understand? Jose Rodriguez, Elmer, da Ana, yes. Anita, yeah. yes, yeah. you understand? Okay, let's continue here. Yeah. If we quickly look at our vocabulary here, I could say this could be, now the, the idea about this is that this could be something that is true for you, this could be something that is not true for you. So we want to express the things that you like, things that you don't like, things that you might be neutral about. So I could use this vocabulary here, so I could easily say I like it, such as the example here, I like it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, or I could say, I love it. So I'll, I could change the verb, I could change something else there. I could say, I love it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, at the same time, I could also be neutral about it. I could say, I don't mind it, All right? Okay, I don't mind it when someone gives me a compliment. Uh, and then again, you might be shy and you probably don't like it, right? So you might uh, have a negative point of view about that situation and you might say I don't I don't like it I don't like it when someone gives me a compliment and that's how you formulate this kind of uh, sentences um, again you could be neutral about the whole situation you could uh, you could um, uh, be positive about it so you could like it or you could love it um, and um, at the same time something could make you upset right um, the examples that I gave earlier where I, so let me follow the structure here, right? So I'm going to say I like it when, friends give me gifts for my birthday, okay? So this is something that I like. So I like it when friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when friends forget about my birthday. Um, it doesn't bother me when friends arrive late to a party. Now what I would like for you to do is to think about all the things that you like and all the things that you don't like and all the things that you're neutral about. All right, we're going to stop right here. Do you understand what, we're, uh, what the teacher is explaining? Yes. Okay. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do right now for the last five minutes of the class, we're going to go to the groups right now. And I want you to think together. For example, if I'm working with Walter, I want to say one positive, one neutral, and one negative sentence, okay? And then try to write it down so you can like check spelling and everything. So I say, for example, uh, Walter, you know what? I like it when my students understand. I don't mind it when uh, my children make noise. And number three, I can stand it when people um, throw garbage on the street. Okay, so I'm talking about three sentences, an affirmative, a neutral, and a negative using expressions such as I like it, I love it, I don't mind it, I hate it, I can stand it, all right, or I don't like it. 
and then the rest of the complement. Do you understand what you're supposed to do? Yes. Okay, so please type it and then you can share your screen with your um, classmate. So when I come see you, I can read your sentences too and I can check spelling and grammar and everything, okay? Okay. Okie dokie, so go to your group. So three sentences for you and three sentences for your partner, okay? So six sentences, one positive, one neutral and one negative. All right, so here we go. Another one. Um, I love your sentence number two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, number three. Very good. Nice. People. I don't, I, uh, in my case, I don't mind it when okay. the people don't celebrate my birthday. Okay. okay. <laughs> David, I don't mind it. Okay. You have to join the pronunciation. You have to yeah. link the okay. sound. Right? I don't mind. I don't mind. It. Yes, I, I, don't I, mind don't, it. I don't mind it. I don't mind, mind it. it. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. I don't thank, mind it when, you. uh huh, very good, when people don't celebrate my birthday. That's okay. That's a nice sentence. Okay. All right. Yeah. Very good. Jenny or Anna? I think. I don't know. When my 
Brother, lend me money. I don't oh, know. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> And number two, neutral, teacher, neutral is only, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind it. Um, what else can, I, can you I say? I don't care. But I don't, I don't care. care is more, more from one side than the other one. The neutral is that you don't mind it. But if you say, I don't care, it's like, okay, fine. It's like more negative, kind of. Okay. okay, I don't care what people talk about me, for example. Okay. Okay, so it's a little bit stronger than I don't mind it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't mind it's better. Yeah, I think it's softer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't mind when... All right, let's see. Lisette, can you tell me one of your examples, please? Yes, I like it when my mother cooks cookies. Oh, bakes cookies. All right, very oh, nice. Yes, that's okay. Very good. Um, Anna, give me one example, Anna Dimas. Anita, your microphone, Anita. Uh, I love it when my friend ride a bike with me. Oh, very nice. Okay, very good. Elmer Argueta, can you tell me one? Elmer? I hate it when the neighbor has loud music. I hate it when the neighbor has loud music. All right, very good. And the last one, Walter Guerrero, give me one sentence. I like it when the when the the traffic when I when I am driving and the traffic is free. <laughs> oh, very good. Only at night. <laughs> at night. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, guys. So we're going to stop right here. Tomorrow we'll keep on talking a little bit about this topic, which is not very complicated. And then tomorrow we finish section one. All right, pretty much. So thank okay. you very much for being in class. Um, take care. Please wash your hands. Okay. And I'll yeah. see you guys tomorrow. Okay. See you. See you Bye, tomorrow. guys. Bye, Good night. Good night. Bye, Bye. Bye. Thank you, David. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 B